Uh, hello, uh, welcome back. This is part nine of the spectral clustering um, series. Um, I think uh, this is Che uh, from Northeastern University. Um, I think this is probably going to be our last one on uh, the series on spectral clustering. Um, so, so far we've really concentrated on this formulation where this formula represents the measurement of relationship, okay? It's a relationship between clusters. So if you have two clusters, you want the relationship to be as small as possible. In other words, you want them to be as far apart from each other as possible. So it's easy to distinguish them. And as I have shown in the previous video, that this is the algebraic form and this is the matrix form. And they're identical to each other. Okay, so what we've done so far is called a normalized. Nope, unnormalized, unnormalized spectral clustering, which um, for a lot of cases that you'll work with, it would work just fine. However, in practice, we don't really use this that often. Um, what we do tend to do is normalize the data so that um, normalize the, the, the matrix, especially this Laplacian matrix, so it doesn't get too big and we limit it to a certain range, okay? And there are two ways to do this. We can do it either through the symmetric Laplacian or the random walk Laplacian. And um, since since I, I tend to work with the symmetric one, and the, the idea is basically the same. Um, it's slight variations in the calculation, I mean formulation. So I, I'm just going to show you the symmetric one. And the random walk version, is, it's pretty easy to pick up once you have seen the symmetric one. So, well, the idea is very simple. Normally, we use this Laplacian, and we just want to normalize it by dividing um, by the degree matrix. And that's it. And the new formulation looks like this. And by, of course, you can just solve it this way, but like we, simplif we tend to simplify the math a bit, and that's what we're going to go over this video, just how it's simplified and how the problem is often changed. Um, and that way, when you're reading about it, you won't be confused because the formulation is actually, looks different. So here it is, right? Now, we start with this, and like I said, L symmetric is equal to this whole thing, this whole thing right here, okay? So I just copied it down as the L symmetric. And after that, I look at this L, which the original Laplacian was just equal to degree of matrix minus the adjacency matrix here. So um, after that, what I did is I multiplied D inside and D inside to get this here. And again, I multiplied D inside and D inside here to get this part. Well, you have noticed this right here is equal to one. It's the same as saying like if you have some value phi divided by square root of five times square root of five, which is equal to one. Hence, this right here is just the identity. Okay. Now I multiply f with the identity and f with the identity. That's how I got this part. Again, I multiply the f here and the f here. That's how I got this part. Well, you, ha you may have remember that we define one of the constraints of F times F, F transpose F is actually equal to identity as well. So um, you, you might want to watch a previous video if you don't remember that, that this was one of the constraints that we have set. So this, this right here is just identity matrix and the rest here, I just copied it down. Now. Whenever we are solving a max or a min value, the addition or subtraction of a of a constant doesn't really matter. Like and uh, like, I have shown you a couple examples. So like over here, that's that's like if um, x squared plus one, for example. So it doesn't matter. The minimum value for x is still at zero. It doesn't matter how much you move up or move down. And therefore, therefore, we can just ignore this identity matrix. 
ignore it, okay? So once we ignore it, the new problem looks like this, where the argument is equal to just the negative portion of this. Of course, if you're finding the minimum of a negative value, that is the same as finding the maximum of the positive value. So we can get rid of this negative value here by converting it to a, po a maximum problem. Okay? And that's it. That, that's what we tend to see. And I call this the new Laplacian. The new Laplacian. And this is the, the, the new formulation of the problem. Now, uh, in practice, this is what you will tend to see. And when people refer to Laplacians, they are probably talking about this. Um, it's, it's easy to confuse, get confused when people refer to Laplacians because it could mean so many things. It could mean like this, or it could mean Laplacian symmetric, or it could mean Laplacian equals to D minus W. So um, it's good that you have an idea of the various possible Laplacians people could talk about so you don't get really confused. Um, and there are more, so just, just be cognizant of that. So anyways, now we solve the rest of the problem exactly the same way, okay? Well, let's say we have like four clusters. We would, instead of finding the minimum, right? Now we're doing the max. We're doing the maximum eigenvector. So here's max one, max two, max three, max four. And then we treat each row as a single sample, exactly the same way, each sample. Except that you want to also normalize that. So this normalized process looks at each row and normalize them. And I, I assume you know normalization, but uh, let, let's, let's do a quick example, right? We want to normalize this. We started here, but we divided by the, the normalization factor, which is the first square, second square, you know? And that's equal to square root of 10, and that's how I get this portion. The normalization should be pretty easy. And lastly, once we have the normalized version of this, uh, we run k-means. And, um, and this is, this is the, how um, uh, the spectral clustering work um, when you are like talking about with most people outside. So anyways, I think, I hope this is helpful with your understanding of spectral clustering and that you will be able to use this technique um, in your own work. All right, thank you very much.